down the street and see. They drill pretty close to houses. They just put up a blast shield in case it blows up, which they have. And if it blows up, the blast shield's not going to do anything. The town is clearly now divided in half, and it's all because of gas drilling. That's what it does to a town. It comes in and it tears apart a town. If this industry is gone, bad news comes up. This is our home. This is where our son was born. This is where we have lived. This is where we thought we would retire. There are people who may not want to move here anymore, and uh, that doesn't bode well. The process of growing is not a clean activity. Anybody goes to an operating rig and watches them, they slosh, there's a lot of water, it falls down, it soaks into the ground. In Dish, and just outside of Dish, there is every aspect of natural gas drilling and processing that goes on. Starting in probably 2008, 2009, my kids began getting nosebleeds. Doctors tell me, well, you're obviously stressed out, and when you're stressed out, you dehydrate. Just, just drink a lot of water. Just drink as much water as possible. So when I was the most sick, I was drinking um, close to two gallons a day, sometimes probably more than two gallons in one day. And that's when I was in the emergency room several, several nights in one week. Um, I was just experiencing symptoms of being poisoned, basically. To be, to be that sick, I mean, I really thought that I was going to die. And to have no idea why this is happening to you is, is a really horrible thing to go through. Well, ultimately, it's supposed to be ODNR that's protecting us. And they've, they haven't protected me at all. They've proven uh, to be worthless to me.